Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the SSH protocol in the subject of network security. First of all, SSH means Secure Shell Protocol. S is for secure, SH is for shell, secure shell protocol. Got it? So, uh, here, why do we use this protocol and uh, what is the working of this protocol? Everything I'll tell you. So, basically, it is a protocol for operating network services over an unsecured network. So, if you are having any unsecured networks, then in that case, we will have some, uh, you know, we cannot easily enter that network because we know that it is unsecured network and our data may be lost in that. So, in those kind of unsecured networks also, we can go and we can access we can access the services of those kind of unsecured networks with the help of this secure shell protocol got it so it is an alternative to telenet and ftp not only telnet ftp there are so many other protocols also uh, so it is an alternative to telnet ftp smtp so some other protocols also because they are not more secured you can say uh, telnet ftp are unsecured protocols when compared to uh, secure shell protocol got it and here we use the concept of client server we use the client server architecture got it so secure shell protocol is nothing but it is basically a protocol through which you can access the services of a unsecured network securely that is without any fear without any hesitation without any uh, worries that our data may be lost or they or our data may be um, you know stolen or our data may be modified we can happily use the services of an unsecured network also with this ssh secure shell protocol got it and it follows the client server architecture and also uh, one more thing is that it follows asymmetric key cryptography you know what is asymmetric key cryptography right you will be using two types of keys at encryption one key and for decryption one key so at encryption end we are using the public key and on the decryption end we are using the private key got it so this is about the uh, keys used by this uh, secure shell protocol and this is for providing confidentiality and integrity of the data got it now let us see the working which is very important so first of all what happens is the client will request the data to the server that is the client will send the request to the server this is the first step the request is sent from the client end to the server end now what server will do once request is sent client's work is done now the complete work server has to do what server will do is it will check the authentication of the client authentication of client is checked first how with the public key it will check the public key of the client because the public key is same for everybody right the public key is available to everybody right so it will check the public key of the client whether the public key is correct or not right okay public key is checked second what it will do once uh, it identifies that the public key is matching the public key is correct then it will generate a random string any random string message it will generate okay and this random string is sent to the client this random string is not the data which the client has received so the data is not actually transferred here right this is only for the checking the authentication between the client and server that's all got it now a random string is generated from the server's end and this random string is sent to the client got it so the random string which is generated by the uh, server is sent to the client now what happened yeah sorry 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 before sending the random string it will encrypt this random string just like a normal text it will not send it will encrypt it and it will send the cipher text to the client now what the client will do the client will decrypt the cipher text which is sent by the server by using the private key of the client so decryption we are doing with private key as I already said decryption so here the client will decrypt the data with the help of its private key got it now the client will decrypt the data and again send back 
the decrypted data to the server uh, you know this decrypted data will act as an acknowledgement so once uh, the decrypted data is sent back to the server the server will get to know okay so this is what i have sent and um, the client is able to decrypt it correctly that is okay he is a or she is a trusted client right so the keys are matching everything is correct so that is why he is able to decrypt it perfectly okay fine so now i can trust right so now what happens is finally once the authentication of client is proved the authentication of client is confirmed on the server's end now ssh tunnel is created okay so what is this ssh tunnel it is a channel for communication between the client and server so now whatever data client wants or whatever data server wants to give will happen through this ssh tunnel that is it is very secure nobody can enter into that tunnel and steal the data okay so in order to establish this tunnel this is the process we need to follow first client will send the request now uh, in in order to check the authorization of the client it will check the public key if the public key is matching then it will generate a random string and it will encrypt that random string with the help of the public key which is on the server's end and that will be sent back to the client now what client will do client will decrypt the data with its private key now once decryption is done it will send back that data to the server if this if the data is matching then the server will confirm the authorization of the client and then a tunnel is created in that tunnel the communication between the client and server will take place okay so this is all about the secure shell protocol i hope you guys are clear uh, with what i've explained in this video if yes hit the like button and also share it with your friends and if you are having any doubts you can ask me in the comment section or i will give you my contact details in the description you can contact me through my instagram or gmail okay so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end